Good morning, everybody. My name is Daniel Pablo, coming to you here from First Presbyterian Church in Covington, Virginia. Starting out this Saturday morning with a scripture reading from 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 13. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And now a reading from With Burning Hearts, page 68 and 69. The word that best expresses this mystery of God's total self-giving love is communion. It is the word that contains the truth that in and through Jesus, God wants not only to teach us, instruct us, or inspire us, but to become one with us. And that's our reading from With Burning Hearts. If you will, please join me for a reading by Henry Nowen from steadfast love during this time of Lent we continue within for me Holy Communion has come to mean connectedness Paul took the grace of Jesus the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit and turned all three into a benediction a wondrous blessing of the fellowship we have with one another in Christ Jesus when we people of God come together around the altar of the Lord to drink of the same cup and eat of the same bread, we are drawn together and saying, any friend of Jesus is a friend of mine. It's no longer you over there, me over here, and Jesus way out there somewhere. It's you and I together with Jesus right there in the heart of our relationship. This has been Jesus' dream all along, as voiced in his high priestly prayer. That they may all be one, as you, Father, are in me, and I am in you. Which is from John chapter 17, verse 21. That last verse there. Uh, that's a reading by Henry Nowen. And if you will, please join me for a time together in prayer. Let us now pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, through Holy Communion, Jesus came to give us a glimpse of life in the Garden of Eden before sin. You were in perfect harmony there with all your creation. Thank you for a preview of what is yet to come in Jesus. Amen. Thank you all for joining me here this morning. Hope to see you here tomorrow at 8 a.m. I hope you all have a great Saturday today.